Welcome to Learnpedia, the ultimate JE and NEET prep tool currently being used by more than 20,000 aspirants. Now, take a look at this actual NEET question and see if you can answer it. If you think you got the answer, post it in the comment section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch this full video. Gattation. Gattation is water secretion from uninjured parts of the plant. Look at these images. These are the tips of the leaf margin and these water drops. So the secretion of water in the form of water drops through uninjured parts, this is called gattation. The passages through which water is excreted are called water stomata or hydrothodes. When there is excess absorption of water and less transpiration, the excess water accumulates near the margins and tips of the leaves. This process is highly favored when there is a lot of atmospheric humidity. Gattation is not a universal phenomenon. Gattation takes place in only certain genera like cucurbits, colocasia, tomato and many grasses. Look at this image. This is the water stoma. The water stoma has God cells, but the God cells encircling the stoma are immovable, means they always remain open. Below this stoma, there is an air cavity and a very loose tissue called epithem. The xylem vessels, these xylem vessels, they end abruptly. So water is secreted into this loose tissue, epithem and that escapes as a water drop. This process is called the gattation. Root pressure usually causes the flow of water, of course, along with mineral salts, and this water only accumulates outside the hydrothodes. This gattated water, besides having mineral salts, also contains some organic compounds like organic acids and also some amino acids. So the gutted water is acidic with low pH. In some crops like chickpea, the water accumulates in large quantities on the surface of the leaves and this water is collected by spreading the cloth over the crop and the wetted cloth is squeezed and collected in vessels. This water that is collected is used for softening of mutton and chicken during cooking. This highly acidic nature can be tested by adding calcium carbonate into this water where you can find effervescence that is liberation of carbon dioxide. Hey there, hope you understood the concept. Here's the solution to the question asked at the beginning. You can check now. Found this video useful? Hit the like and share icons to enjoy more such videos. Use the comment section below to post your feedback, questions or queries. Learnpedia's JE and NEET prep tools contain more than 4,000 videos and over 20,000 questions. These can be accessed online on our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also experience a free demo of our product before buying.